Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another ToyHex.com sponsored review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously and help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers by TFCon in October. Now, on to the decals. And the set we're looking at in this video is for Generation Selects Bug Bite. This decal set includes three decal sheets. You've got two on vinyl backing and one on foil. So now, without further ado, let's take a look at Bug Bite, both before and after Toy Hacks decals. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. In robot mode, straight out of the packaging, there's really not a lot to talk about as far as Bug Bite's details. He does have a few paint applications. He's got a nice silver face with some red eyes, a black mercenary logo, black detailing right here along the feet, and some silver for the headlights in vehicle mode, and down there for the grill. He also has a tinted translucent windshield, and that's pretty much it. I mean, he's a neat looking figure, but he is definitely lacking on the details. So there you go, guys. Bug Bite in robot mode before. And after. Bug Bite looks 100% better now, thanks to Toy Hacks. Taking a closer look at the figure, he gets a new red decal right up there on the crest. New purple eyes. He's got a new windshield right here. A tribal symbol right there on his chest, along with a new mercenary faction label. You do get a few different labels for options. You got a purple Autobot, purple Decepticon, and just this little triangle symbol. He also gets new decals right here on the upper leg, red stripes, a little red triangle, and some red and silver there. New decals that wrap around the shins that kind of look like the rest of the vehicle, adds a little bit more white to him. There's some decals right here on the feet. New decals here, there's lights, a little black decal, and new decals there for the grill. Now what I really like with this figure is what Toy Hacks did for the weapons. He's got his little pistol right here, and for these sections, the magazines, you have different options for ammo. I've got some shells here on this one, and on this side is just some red stripes. You did have the option for like some energy bolts. There's some blue and black or some electricity. I liked those, so we'll go ahead and, well, real quick, almost forgot. There is a decal that goes right around the peg. So you're not gonna be pegging these weapons together anymore if you use that decal, you'll tear it right off. So we'll go ahead and put that in Bug Bite's hand. And then the one I really like is what they did with the second half of the weapon. If you take the weapon and position it like this, and he's got these decals that show like energy beams, this looks like the weapon the Stormtrooper had in The Force Awakens. Raider. So we'll clip this into Bug Bite's hand like so. And I love that, that looks Bad ass. <laughs> Great job, Toy Hacks. I've got three different, vi excuse me, four different versions of this figure. Never once thought to position the weapons like that. That is really cool. So there you go, guys. Bug Bite in robot mode after. In vehicle mode, straight out of the packaging, Bug Bite is still a little plain. He does have the mercenary logo dead center right there on the roof, translucent clear yet tinted plastic windows here in the front and the sides, a big painted black window on the back, a black bumper. We got silver rims on the wheels 
and the front of the vehicle, just like the robot feet. You've got a black bar right here, silver for the headlights, and silver for the grill. So there you go, guys. One final look at Bug Bite in vehicle mode before and after. And Bug Bite's vehicle mode gets quite a few upgrades thanks to Toy Hacks. The first decals you're probably noticing are the new windshield decals right there, the window here, and the back window. And those look awesome. Now, there are a couple different options. You have the ones with the windshield wipers looking like that, or you can go with a regular look. The windshield wipers like this are a callback to his GoBot figure, so I think that is really cool. He also has new tribal designs here on the hood, and the roof, and along the sides. Back of the vehicle, back of the vehicle looks awesome now. New tail lights, a new bumper with a license plate that says Renegade. There are a few options to choose from there. He also gets a new rear tail light, front of the vehicle. He gets new headlight decals, new black decals right there, and new grill decals. Also, there's some black decals right there for the air intakes. Also, like the other bots that share this same mold, you pop off the wheels and there's decals right there for a brake rotor. So you've got them right there on the front and the back. I think that's really cool. Also, there's a decal for some shocks. So there you go, guys. There is Bug Bite in vehicle mode after. <laughs> I really like what Toy Hacks did for Generation Select's Bug Bite. They added so many much needed details to this figure and they make it almost look like a brand new toy. I especially love the tribal designs. He looks like a tatted up gym bro from the 1990s. And I should know, I was a tatted up gym bro from the 1990s. So there you have it, the Toy Hacks decal set for Generation Select's Bug Bite. Now, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Once again, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hooah!